And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Ryan Metzler. Hey everyone, this is Ryan Metzler, and today we're going to look at a game that is out of print, uh, one that is kind of a rarity in a collector's item. We're going to take a look at Lexio. And Lexio is a tile-laying game, a tile-climbing game, for three to five players, in which you're going to be playing combinations of tiles, numbered tiles, in order to make different types of poker hands, in order to void your hand of tiles. And the first person to void their hand of tiles is going to get victory points. Uh, as I said, this game is somewhat of a rarity, but hey, why not cover all types of games in my review series? If you're a collector of nice board games or board games with great components, I suggest you watch this video to see exactly what Lexio is composed of. So, why don't we go and see that, I'll give you a brief overview of what types of combinations of cards you can play, and then I'll give you my final summary on it when we're done. So here you can see all of the components for Lexio, and as you see you have these tiles. Now don't be confused, this is essentially a card game. Uh, but you're going to play with these really nice tiles. And these are made out of some type of Bakelite material, and you can see they're very thick, uh, about the thickness of my finger, and they're very solid, so they're going to be very, very nice and very well-lasting components. Uh, each of these colors here, you're going to see there are four colors, has the numbers 1 through 15, but the hierarchy of numbers is not 1 through 15. It's 3 through 15, and then 1 and 2 being the highest two tiles, 2 being the highest, and you can see it has a nice design to show that it's the highest tile. There's also going to be a color hierarchy, with red being higher than green, green being higher than what they call yellow, and yellow being higher than what they call blue, although it's actually black. Uh, now, on your turn, you're going to have a hand of these cards, and or tiles, and you're going to have them dealt out, uh, and you're going to be able to play different combinations of cards. Now, this is a climbing card game, or a climbing tile game, in which you're trying to get rid of all of your tiles before your opponents. So you're going to have a set of tiles, and you're going to be able to play different ways. So you could lead with a single tile. And in a single tile, the higher number is going to win, but if you have two tied nine numbers, the color hierarchy is going to come into place. So in this case, let's say a red two was out. Well, the red two is unbeatable. It's the highest, uh, highest number of the highest color. But if a green two were out, it could be beaten by a red two because red is higher than green. You can also play pairs. And in this case, the higher colored pair or the higher numbered pair is going to win number first, then color. You could play three of a kind, same rules, and then you could get into things like straight flushes. So you have a straight flush, and there's going to be low to high here, so let's do them low to high. You could have just a straight of any amount of colors. You could have a flush of one color. You could have a full house, or you could have a four of a kind plus any tile, and then finally the highest combination, a straight flush. So you're going to lead one of these combinations, and everybody else must follow in kind or pass. And then whoever plays the highest uh, of that type of lead, so if you led a single, whoever played the highest single, after you've gone around the table and nobody else wants to play, and has pa everybody else has passed, whoever played the highest number, or the highest combination, is going to win. And they're going to simply lead the next round. Uh, and everybody gets rid of their tiles, and you lead the next round. And the only objective here is to be the first person out of tiles. The first person out of tiles is going to get points from everyone else. And so everybody's going to start with a certain amount of chips. The number is irrelevant, but the game includes this nice uh, plastic chip set. I guess it's not all that nice, but it's a plastic chip set. Uh, and people are going to have to pay the per first person to go out in chips. And what they're going to have to pay is the number of tiles that they have left in chips. So if you were to have four tiles left, the number on the tile is irrelevant, but if you were to have four tiles left, you would have to pay four points to the winner. If you were to have any twos left in your hand, you would be punished for this, and you would have to double the amount of chips that you have to pay to the winner. So if you were to have four tiles left, and one of them was a two, you would have to pay eight chips to the winner. You're going to play five rounds in this manner, or until one person runs out of chips, which is unlikely to happen because the amount you start with is uh, somewhat unreasonably high, but you're going to pay five rounds. After five rounds, whoever has the most chips is going to be the winner. And so that's Lexio. Now many of you gamers out there who are familiar with Tichu or Haggis may have realized that this is essentially the same type of game without any of the bidding involved and without any of the special cards. And that's very much so true. Now the components are of the highest quality. They're probably the best components I've seen in any tile game, hands down. 
Uh, the game is relatively easy. It's pretty fun. Uh, you only have to know your basic poker hands. And the real nice part is it doesn't require a specific set number of players. It's going to scale, so if you're a big Tichu fan, you know that you have to have four players essentially to play the game. This doesn't require that. Uh, while it's not as in-depth, it's still a fun alternative, and again, it has great components. If you're a collector of games, I suggest you go out and grab this one. Uh, if you can get your hands on it, it's a great addition to any collection for a card gamer or a tile gamer or a collector, any of the three. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Sommer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.